Hey there, it's Darren Kitchen on this Pineapple University. We're going to go into DNS spoof. Now, as you guys are probably familiar with, DNS is an awesome system that allows you to translate domain names into IP addresses. You'll probably notice it if you ever pull up a terminal and uh, say ping, I don't know, zombo.com. And of course, then you'll get the IP address 69.16.230.117. But what's also really nice about the Wi-Fi Pineapple and being that man in the middle is you're actually able to, say, use a tool like DNS Spoof to modify what those requests and what those responses are going to be. So that if the client, say, asks for client a Wi-Fi co client connected to the Wi-Fi Pineapple, asks for Zombo.com, you don't necessarily have to give them the response 69.16.230. 117 you could tell them whatever you want and the browser isn't going to know the difference and it's going to pull up whatever web server you say pointed at and it will be unbeknownst to them that they're not at the proper website which is a pretty fantastic tool and it can be used for more than just redirecting websites but we're going to do a quick example today because some interesting stuff has happened in the news where um, I just feel like there's a pretty good practical example here so let's go ahead and log into our pineapple and DNS spoof is located under the configuration tile and you'll see here this is my Kali Linux virtual machine that is directly connected to my pineapple over Ethernet and, I can, and uh, what we can do is see over here I've got a Windows client that's uh, connected over Wi-Fi actually to this Wi-Fi pineapple so it is a client of it and so what we'll do is take a look under configuration here and see there is a tab called DNS spoof and this is where you can set up the IP address and domains in your what you would call spoof host and that is essentially basically a table of it's kind of like your host file table where you would just uh, specify the IP address and what host name and whenever a client makes a request it's going to check this list before it gives it the actual response from its upstream DNS provider. So in the example that comes with by default you would see example.com gets redirected to 172.16.42.1. So if I were say to turn on DNS spoof and then go to example.com from one of the clients I would actually get the web server running on the pineapple rather than the true example.com. We can do the same thing here with zombo.com, awesome website. We'll do star.zombo.com. You can use wildcards in this just like you would with most other Linux type commands where uh, say for example star.zombo.com means I would get www.zombo and mail.zombo and whatever have you. Same thing would work in reverse, you know, we could do star.zombo.star so I'd get zombo.com and zombo.net and zombo.org and all of those. So we're just going to leave it as .com for now. I'm going to update my spoof host. And I'm also, SS, I'm going to SSH into my Wi-Fi Pineapple. And I'm going to move to slash www. This is the web server. This is where the files for the regular web server that is listening on port 80 resides, uh, separate from the slash pineapple directory, which is where the web server on port 1471 resides which is the web management console that you would access. Now um, I've already gone ahead and made an index.html file here. All it says is hello world. So we'll be able to know if we're on the pineapple if we pull up the, uh, the web page that says hello world. So with that all set I pretty much just need to go over here and where it says DNS booth and it's currently disabled I'll just click start and now it's enabled. So now on my client machine, if I just open up my browser and go to zombo.com, you'll notice that I get hello world. This is pretty fantastic. As opposed to, say, on my machine right here, if I go to zombo.com, that's, that's some good Zombo. stuff. I mean, I encourage you all to check this out zombo.com. It's a fantastic place. You can do anything there. Uh, I bring this up because Greg Foss did a fantastic piece right here um, basically illustrating one of the weaknesses in this new concept from Xfinity who decided to turn a lot of their customers cable modems into public wireless access points. Well public in the sense that if you have a Xfinity account you can use them to log in otherwise they want to charge you or stuff like that. Um, a lot of people got it up in arms most people probably didn't even notice but regardless He's actually gone ahead and put together up on GitHub 
and he's actually showing using a Wi-Fi pineapple as an example of uh, setting this up, and so that's what we'll do here today. But uh, I believe he's hosting this on GitHub. There we go, Xfinity Pineapple, and it's 404 on GitHub right now. That's weird. Okay, well, I'm sure there's a cache somewhere. Um, we're going to go ahead and set that up so that whatever website we want will forward to that. So in order to do that, let me go ahead and stop DNS spoof on the pineapple. I'm going to go to configuration and DNS spoof. And rather than doing star.zombo.com, I'm just going to do star.star. .star. And so that what that means is no matter what website you try to reach, whatever DNS entry you give it, it's always going to give you, well, in this case, the IP address of the pineapple. So we'll update our spoof host. I'm going to close this. And we're going to come over to our command prompt again. And I've already set it up. I'm going to SCP all of these files over. So however you'd like to copy them. I'm going to copy SCP attack R everything to slash to root at 16.421 in slash www. All right. So those file, files are there now by ls wahoo. OK. And let me make sure that's the right index.html. Yes, it is. Fantastic. OK, so uh, this is a really simple um, phishing page, basically. And so what it would look like if I uh, come over here and actually go to 172.16.42.1 without the colon uh, 1471, I'm going to, this is the page that the, the user is going to get, OK? And if I come back over here and uh, I'm going to tail this file off dot log. So, whoops, tail tack f to follow it off dot log. OK, so now we're watching whatever gets written to off dot log. And you'll see here in a moment, basically, he's got a user login PHP that dumps the credentials into this. So let's just turn on DNS spoof now and come back over to our client. And I don't know, we'll pick another website, example.co.uk. And we get our nice little Xfinity login. And if I pull up that terminal at the same time, you'll not that terminal, this terminal at the same time, and we'll give it uh, beefcakes at whatever dot whatever. And we give it lame password and click sign in. No, we don't want to remember that password. It's a pretty horrible password. OK, and we'll see right here. A, we have a login attempt. Password is lame password. Here's the time date stamp, and it's from this account. And <laughs> and it literally just says the username and password enter do not match. And what do most people do when their password isn't correct? Well, then they just start typing every password they've ever possibly used. And it doesn't matter what website you go to. We could, I could just jam on the keyboard, and I will always, no matter what I enter give it a lot of numbers this time I will get there no matter what more numbers dot com and we will always 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 get there <laughs> and so we're completely stuck this is actually one of the ways that random roll works to make sure that whatever website you go to you end up to like a thing where Rick Astley is singing at you and stuff and you know it's it's a trolley good time this is a fantastic tool in any arsenal for any pen test job where you are trying to gather credentials. This is uh, a lot less sophisticated than a captive portal that does eventually let the user through after gathering some sort of credentials or notifying them of a network usage policy, say one that says you're being monitored or anything like that. But I just figured that this would be a, a good example to show you guys how you can couple wild cards and, uh, and all sorts of good stuff into your Wi-Fi pineapple to do some DNS spoofing action. Of course, if you have questions, leave them in the comments, and I will see you guys on the forums. And as always, thank you so much for supporting us directly, hakshop.com. And uh, thanks. I will see you on the intertubes.